In this section, you'll learn how to use the React Router Library with Apollo to implement some navigation functionality. First, let's add a dependency to our app. Open up a terminal, navigate to your project directory, and type yarn add react router dom. Before we get on to the route configurations, let's create a header component that users can use to navigate to and between different parts of our app. Let's create a new file in the components directory and call it header.js. Then let's paste the following code inside of it. This code simply renders two link components that users can use to navigate between the link list and the create link components. Let's not get confused by the other link component that we use here. The one that you're using in the header has nothing to do with the Hacker News link components. They just happen to have the same name. In React Router, the link is used to transition from route to route. And React Router DOM, in this case, provides the link component that allows us to navigate within our application. Let's configure the different routes of our app in the project's root component app. Open up app.js and let's update the render function to include the header as well as the link list and create link components. For this code to work, you need to import some required dependencies from React Router DOM. Let's add the following statement to the top of the file. We're going to import header from the header file we created, and then we're going to import switch and route from React Router DOM. Before we go any further, let's explain what switch and route do. Route is a component that wraps whatever your desired component is and gives the context of a route. For the example of link list, our route component has a path for the root of the app, and the component that is used to render that root is the link list. Let's talk about switch next. When you wrap routes in switch, switch goes and finds the first match possible and renders that route component. So in the example for our two routes here, switch would look for create, and it would look for create in the list of switches, and it would find create first, and it would render the create link right away. You can imagine if we had contesting routes where slash create and there was slash create one, you'd want to have a switch so you can know that you would hit the route that's first. Now, let's update our app component with a browser router. Browser router is used so all child components of app have access to routing functionality. To access this, let's open up index.js and add the following import statement to the top. Now let's update our React DOM render function and wrap the whole app with the browser router. Awesome. If you run yarn start, you can now access two URLs. Localhost 3000, which is the root, will render a link list and localhost 3000 slash create renders the create link component you wrote in the previous section. Awesome. To wrap this section up, you need to implement an automatic redirect from the create link to link list component after a mutation was performed. So let's open up create link.js and update create link to look as the follows. After the mutation was performed, React Router DOM will now navigate back to the linkless component that's accessible on the root route. 